हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल कॉर्पोरेट स्किलर कॉर्पोरेट स्किल सेट इन सिंपल वीडियोज इन टूडेज वीडियो वी वुड लुक एट हाउ टू इम्पोर्ट डेटा इन टू पावर पी आई फ्रॉम एक्सेल सो आई हैव क्रिएटेड ए वेरी सिंपल डेटा सेट विद ओनली थ्री कॉलम्स प्रोडक्ट नेम प्रोडक्ट आई डी एंड सेल्स सो इन ऑर्डर टू गेट import this data into the power bi we would be using get data in power bi so when we click on get data we will get a drop down with different data sources which could be imported into power bi so we can see we have excel workbook power bi data sets data flows data verse sql server and many more for this particular video we would be limiting getting data from the excel workbook so let's click on the excel workbook and uh, i need to locate that particular excel file in from uh, from my desktop so in my case it is there in the power bi training and uh, then i i i can click on the training one excel file and then click on open so once you click on open you would be able to see different uh, worksheets within that particular excel file in the workbook which i have created only one worksheet is there that is sheet 1 and i will be clicking on it so once i click on it you will be able to see a preview of the data uh, in that particular worksheet so as we had seen that excel file before we have three columns product name product id and sales if we click on load it will directly load the data set into the power bi if we click on transform data it will give us the option to make few changes into the data set and if you you click on cancel it won't import the data set so for understanding transform data let's click on transform data once you click on transform it will open in this particular power power query editor there are different features within the power query editor in order to transform your data let's look at the basic ones for this particular video so you can see the product name and the data type is mentioned over here so product name is given text data type if you go into the product id it is taken as numerical data type but the product id can be also considered to be a text type data type so we can click on this particular data type and can convert into the data type we would like it to be so for this let's convert it into text data type it will create a new step here so whenever the data is loaded it will go through all these applied steps to convert into a final data type so you can, if you click on uh, this cross it will remove again that particular step which you have added let's add the step for now similarly the sales we can convert into the currency type at the top you can see home transform add column view tools and help in the home if you go towards the right there are few things which you can take a note of there is this remove columns wherein you can go and remove a particular column just click on this to go back into previous step you have option of keeping some particular columns keeping top rows keeping bottom rows keeping range of rows keep duplicates keep errors so you have all these options you also have the option of removing columns you can remove duplicates if i click on this so it has removed all the duplicate product ids in order to go back to the previous step i i just have to click on this cross button then there is a tab to transform the data so if you go into this one 
you can use the first row as header here it is already been used as the header just for understanding sake let's use header as first row so now the header has been demoted into a first row just to go back into the previous step we can just remove it and we have options of transposing a row or a column counting rows reversing rows there are many other different features which we would be looking at when as and when it would be required we also have the option of adding column view tools etc and help we can go ahead here and close and apply so once you have apply or close and applied it this particular data set will appear in the field section here and if you click on this particular button you will be able to see the different columns within that particular sheet you can see the product id product name sales column it uh, this particular um, symbol represents that sales is a number and so it, it is giving a submission summation option so just for our understanding sake let's go ahead and create one of the simple charts okay so we would be using the stack bar chart for this particular case click on this particular chart here so we will drag the product name into the y-axis and we will drag the sales into the x-axis. This is the first uh, dashboard which you have created. Congratulations for that. We will look at few of the formatting options for this particular chart. So here you can go and format your visual, go into general here you can change the title for example so the title shows sum of sales by product name so you can uh, maybe change it to sales by product name you can make it bold you can give a different text color maybe let's make it blue and you can also give a background color maybe this or maybe some other if you go into the visual you can make changes into the y-axis x-axis you can add data label so currently there is no data label if you click it on it will show uh, data labels that is chart level details uh, you can also go into this uh, y-axis if you don't want the title over here you can just put it off you can change the color over here uh, for the you can make it bold there are different options here you can similarly change the x-axis also you can change the naming there are various options I would uh, uh, like recommend you to play around these uh, different features in order to get a hang of it this is it for today Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.